let's take a look at some inequalities. So these are pretty quick, but we're gonna look at two of them, so it's important that you know how to solve inequalities, right? especially if you have a negative number, right? That can trick people, because that negative number involves flipping the sign. So we'll go with that here. So we have uh, negative x divided by three plus five greater than or equal to eight. Okay, so you know, always when we have variables, we're gonna get it by itself. That's our first step. So the first thing here, we're gonna subtract five from both sides. Okay, and we have negative x over three greater than or equal to three. Okay, so we have two steps left because we wanna get a positive x by itself. Okay, so now when we have a variable on top and then we have this number in the denominator, if we multiply both sides by the denominator, that will eliminate this three, right? So negative x divided by three, if we multiply each side by three, because this three is in the denominator, if we do that, that will eliminate the three, and we just have negative x greater than or equal to nine. Okay, almost there, we just need to make this positive. Okay, and the way we're gonna do that is multiply each side by negative one. When we do that, that flips the sign for both of these, but it also will flip this greater than or equal to sign. So let's see what that looks like. Times negative one, times negative one. So this negative x now becomes x. This greater than or equal to now becomes less than or equal to, right? Because we multiply by negative, a negative number, negative one, this sign flips. Nine times negative one is negative nine. Okay, and that will be our answer. X is less than or equal to negative nine. Okay, so the big things to remember, we started off, get X by itself, so we have to subtract five from both sides, right? Then with this denominator, to get rid of that, we have to multiply it by itself, whatever number this was, which in this case was three, Multiply it by 3 on both sides, that gets rid of that. Then with this negative x, multiply by negative 1, that makes it positive. And when you do that, we have to flip this greater than or equal to sign to less than or equal to because um, we multiply it by a negative number. Okay. So actually, there's a bunch of steps there. None of them are all too hard. But you gotta do them all right. Okay. Let's look at one more. Three minus two x greater than or equal to seven. Okay. Same process here, um, except we don't have any fractions, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. So the first thing is get rid of this three over here on the left side. So we can have negative 2x by itself. We subtract 3, both sides. Negative 2x greater than or equal to 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, so now we have negative 2x is greater than or equal to 4. Remember that when we're subtracting, that doesn't mean we flip sign. That is for multiplying and dividing. Okay, so now we have negative two x, and now I'm gonna divide by negative two to get x by itself as positive, right? I divided by negative, so this means I have to flip this sign. It was greater than or equal to, now it's less than or equal to. Four divided by negative two is negative two. 